Hey guys, up it's our deck here, to lose everyone call me, and look at that, a second deck profile this week? And it's not Friday, what? I just got something on the mat. Anyways, so... With the ban list coming out, I'm, I'm very late on this, but with the ban list coming out, uh, I have an updated deck profile of my Zombie Swarns. 60 card Zombie Swarns to be exact. But we're going to just jump into this, and I'm going to try and speed through this as fast as I can. If you want a full explanation of everything, go to uh, go check out the other video. Um, yeah, so we're going to jump into this. I'm, with this build, I'm trying a few different things. Um, I'm only playing two JD or a Judgment Dragon. Um, it's not the main point of the deck anymore. It, it wasn't before, but I played three just because I was playing 60 cards, and I was like, why the fuck not? But I'm playing, and I'm playing two now just because it's just, it, it's more consistent. It helps the consistency and everything like that. Because I can drop some fucking stupid shit now. Um, I'm playing three Lumina still. Lumina is still the monster reborn of the deck, so that's pretty fucking awesome. Still playing triple Raiden just because you gotta play triple Raiden. He's just he's too good. He's level four tuner, and he has dumping an effect just to dump on the main phase instead of the end phase. Um, still playing two Wolf or three Wolf. Three Wolf is just just too good not to play, uh, just because I can dump him whenever I want and get the effect. Still playing two Felice. I want to I'm want to knock Felice down to one if I can. Um, but I'd have to I have to find other cards that I want to play in the deck that'll help the deck more be more consistent. Um, for the last two Light Swords of the deck, I'm playing one uh, Lila still and one Minerva. I like playing one Minerva just because it gives me uh, I can search it out. Um, with Charge of the Light Brigade, uh, and then I can also dump it if, say, I have a Lumina in hand, or uh, or Unizombie, or something else that I need to dump um, a card from hand. So that's why I play Minerva, and that's why I just like it. We're moving on to the Zombie Engine, still playing uh, 3 Shunui Solitaire. Um, wait, actually, I don't remember if I was playing... Two. I think in the old deck profile only had two. But play three. Three Shinui Solitaire. Just way better. Fucking hella more consistent. Um, still playing two Mezuki or Mezu Mezukai. Whatever the hell you want to call them. Uh, just fucking amazing card and I love it. Um, two Gozuki because Gozuki is good to play. I very rarely do I draw into them. Nor do I really care if I do. But playing two is just good. Uh, two Unizombi still just... Pretty good consistency, and one Shunui Spirit Master just because. Uh, with uh, Snow Rabbit, then this fucking card. Not Snow Rabbit. Uh, what's the fucking card? The one card that lets me banish seven cards and uh, just fucking. This card's good because when you banish it, because you do banish in this deck, uh, you can just drop that uh, and destroy a card on field. That's pretty fucking awesome. Moving on to the Fusion Engine, uh, or the, the Plant Gem Knight Engine. I'm playing two Lone Fire Blossom just because it's good to play. Playing three Predator Plant Orpheus Scorpio. Orpheus Scorpio. It's a good card to play. I enjoy playing the card. Uh, one Scorpio or Cobra. Uh, one Predator Plant uh, Darling Light Cobra. It's, you know that's just kind of your standard. And then two Gem Knights. Uh, just in reality, you can play any two Gem Knights. Um, Everyone says play Obsidian, not Obsidian, uh, I can't remember the one, but it's a normal, but I just, you can honestly just play any two level fours, it re in reality, it doesn't matter as long as you play two, so, yeah, um, that's a Fusion or Gem Knight, whatever, and then for the other cards that I just play in the deck that are just good to play, three Fairy Tale Snow, this is the card I was talking about, that banishes seven, uh, with Shunui, Spirit Master, it's more than likely going to be one of your banished targets. So, yeah. This card is fucking amazing to play. Uh, especially in a 60 card build. It's fucking amazing. Uh, then I'm playing two Perform or per Performage Trick Clown. Uh, I was playing one before, but playing two uh, is just a little more consistent because sometimes I'll draw into it. And then I need a Banish, or I need a Send for uh, Brilliant Fusion. 
Um, so I still have the one in deck, or I still have the one in hand. It just playing two is just a lot more consistent. And then I play one heroic challenger, thousand blades. Just amazing combo piece of Trickstar. You Trickstar effect while this is in graveyard, you automatically get a free, uh, free two fours on the field. Uh, one Goblin Bird, uh, just because this unbricks hand, uh, sometimes will draw into you your wolf and stuff like that. This card helps unbrick it. I'm still playing the one Electromagnetic Turtle. It's a good light dump for the deck. Plus, uh, it just helps uh, for like you know graveyard effects to just stop attacks. Um, one Eclipse Live, and I'm still playing one. Even though I'm playing two, I still like playing this card. It gives me a banished target for Snow. Uh, yeah, Fairy Tale Snow, and uh, I still get, you know, I can still search out at least, you know, one of them. So, yeah, that's it for that. And then for the hand traps, I'm playing three Effect Veiler. Yeah, you know, you're like, what? Effect Veiler playing this? It's good. I think, in my personal opinion, it's good to play. Uh, just because, you know, this deck has not really that much effect negation, so playing Effect Veiler is pretty nice. Um, one Maxi. Just Maxi. Why the hell not? Moving on to the spells, or yeah, the rest of the deck. Um, three Charge of Light Brigade, because I can fucking play three Charge of Light Brigade. Hell the fuck yeah. This card's fucking amazing. I love it so much. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then I'm also playing three Solar Recharge. Um, just draw power. Draw and mill power. And then playing three Brilliant Fusion. Um, yeah, just Billion Fusions is a good card. You know, you kind of need it. And then my one ofs is one Rota or Reinforcements the Army. You can search out Goblinberry. You can search out uh, Raiden if you need him. It gives you some more versatile. And because the deck's so big, you kind of need the search power. Um, one Foolish Burial, just because Foolish Burial. One Grass Looks Greener, or that Grass Looks Greener, just because it's a 60 card deck. So why you need to kind of play this. And then one Soul, Re or Soul Charge. It's just too good not to play. Um, and honestly, I fucking barely see. Oh, excuse me. I barely draw one of this card just because I play a 60 card deck and it's, I can only play one of it. And really fucking sucks. <laughs> Moving on to the extra deck and side deck. Two Minerva the Exalted Light Sworn. Just fucking awesome. Just card. I'm so glad it's no longer just only a prize card. It's just a great card. Just, ooh, great card. One Dante, the Traveler of the Burning Abyss, because sometimes I'll end up with just three, or I can only summon threes on the field. So Dante, why the fuck not? It just gives me more mill power. And then one MX Saber Invoker. This uh, effect you get to uh, actually surprisingly not a lot of people I see play this, um, but this card allows you to just go in your force faster or go into your um, your link summons faster. So that's why I play it. So why the hell not? I want Abyss Dweller, you know, Graveyard Effects, because fuck you. Uh, one Castell, the Sky Blaster Musketeer, just because why not, it's Castell. One of these, one Beals the Diabolic Dragons, um, fuck yeah dude, this card's just amazing, it's just all around, I can summon it, so why the fuck not. One Cyframe Lord Omega, because fuck your opponent's hand, just rip everything out. One Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. This card's fucking awesome. I love this card. To get, like mid to late game, it's just OTK because uh, this deck doesn't struggle. But there's moments where I do kind of just need like a quick out. So why the hell not? That card just says yes. And everybody special summons nowadays. So fuck them. I'm gonna deal damage. Essentially, it's a cowboy. It is my big beat stick cowboy. Um, one Black Rose Dragon because Black Rose Dragon. I have two uh, field or board wipes, so fuck you. And then one Michael the Arch Light Sworn for the to round up the synchros. Just it's great uh, in the mirror match and against you know bees. This card is your fucking answer to it. Uh, the only fusion one Gem Knight Seraphonite. Uh, just awesome. I love fucking playing this card. It's amazing. One Proxy Dragon. One Mrs. Radiant and one Deco Talker. Uh, these are really really I don't really go into proxy dragon too much but it's in there for the plays because it's actually really fucking good to play uh, deco talker and mrs. radiant are really the, the two link monsters are really go to for your standard combo plays um, yeah that's it for the extra deck and moving on to the side deck and like I say in all my videos side decks are always uh, Totally, I mean, in reality, the entire deck is totally up to discretion what the hell you want to play. But side decks are really what you think you'll see and everything like that and what you think you should prepare yourself for. And this is my side deck. 
to Danko Seca, because uh, Danko Seca is actually really good in this deck. You don't really, you, if you're siding this in there, you don't play a back row. So this is just kind of like, fuck you. Um, to DDD Crow, DDD Crow is just DDD Crow, just kind of more hand traps, because why the hell not? Um, one right Geki, because right Geki. Uh, two Lost Wind, because you do mill, and this is kind of like, again, just some effect negation of some sort. Um, if you really need to like max on your effect negation, um, then you can play two Lost Win. Um, and it banishes, and almost every deck does special summon from the extra deck, so you're gonna get this on field. Two Royal Decree, because you don't, if you're siding this in there, you're not playing any traps, so, you know, your Paleo Frog and stuff like that. Uh, and then three at Master Stick, because, you know, True Dracos are still a fucking thing. And three dimensional barrier just to kind of round up the deck in general. So yeah, you know, if you really like the deck, go ahead and build it. If you see anything different that you know I and you want to tell me about it, fucking let me know in the comments, and I will, you know, I'll do my best to put it in there. And if you know stuff like that, I like to talk to you guys. Talk to me. I'll talk to you. And just sum it up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my other videos and stuff like that. So. Yeah, and I, you know, if, you know, hit that bell icon because I post every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, and if you want the notification, then fucking yeah, uh, then yeah, get the notification. Or you know, if you just want it to be there so you can watch it later, then fucking get it. Um, but yeah, you know, that's it. This deck is way too big to do my normal outro, <laughs> and I was gonna try and like drag it out, but I just can't. That's the fucking deck. Um. Yeah, and I also have Twilight Swarms built, so if you want to see that deck, let me know in the comments below, and I will post a video of Twilight Swarms if, for people that just want to see Twilight Swarms. Um, so yeah, thank you guys, and have a wonderful, beautiful night day thing, or whatever.